Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today we're going to talk about this whole thing going on in Missouri uh, and all of the stuff with the homeschooling. Um, yeah. Where do I want to begin? There's a lot of people out there who are thinking this is not a big deal. Uh, it, you know, having looked this over, this is a big deal and it's not just about the guns. Uh, so Missouri bill, it's a, I think it's a house bill 727, um, has language in it that puts homeschools in danger, uh, and homeschools, you know, home owners who do homeschool, uh, in danger of becoming felons because of the firearms laws that are currently written in the books. Um, so but this is more than that. This is more than that because what happens is it basically uh, ties every homeschool to federal guidelines. And that to me is even more dangerous than, I mean, the guns is one thing. Yes, I mean, that's a line in the sand that cannot be crossed. Right, I get that. But also the federal guidelines as well. They're trying to, I, I wouldn't say this, listen, I have worked in Jeff City, okay? Years before I moved to, I used to live in Missouri and I was on the board of directors for the Missouri Sports Shooting Association for eight years, two terms. And I worked for, a, I, I volunteered for a number of firearms, you know, different firearms uh, organizations in Missouri. I was very involved with a number of them. The Missouri Sports Shooting Association was the NRA state affiliate for that state, Missouri. So I was very involved with going with lobbying efforts and going before different state agencies like the Missouri Department of Conservation um, and, and others. It's a sausage factory up in Jeff City. A lot of times they don't know their butts from their elbows, if you know what I'm saying, right? They have no idea what's going on half the time. There are so many lawyers in that little small building and they're writing so many different pieces of legislation that many, 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 many times they they contradict themselves and write things that they don't know what the other person wrote. It's just it's crazy. It's called this it's called the sausage factory for a reason. And it's been put forth that they probably didn't know that they put this language in there in the way that they did to get, I mean, all of a sudden, the other day, they start getting phone calls like in mass by the hundreds and the state legislators are like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. That, that That's not what's in there. We're not going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Because they were complete. They didn't even know what was in the bill. Right? Nancy Pelosi. We, we have to, we have to pass the bill before we read it. It's, it's, it's really that way. That is really how this stuff works, which is why we need a reset <laughs> in this country. And not the kind of reset Klaus Schwab wants. So, yes, they have a bunch of crazy, crazy stuff in Bill 727. They need to fix it. In fact, they just need to kill it altogether. It's absolutely horrible. It's a horrible piece of legislation. But this is what happens today. And what will happen if this bill does pass in any shape and form that it is right now, you'll have people coming down years from now or months from now, George Soros appointed DAs around the around the state who will come in and be like, oh, you're a homeschool, you're not you're not going by federal guidelines, whether that's this guideline or that guideline, and we're going to shut you down and probably put you in jail or issue you a huge fine. Just because they're, they're saying, oh, that, that would never happen. That's not the way this was intended to write. It doesn't matter the way it's intended to write when it's written because they will reinterpret it however they want later on down the road. So here's your, here's your marching orders on all this. Again, I'm not in Missouri. I'm south of you guys. I'm in Arkansas. But if this were to come up in my state, and again, I used to live there, I would be calling nonstop. And I don't care if they tell you over the phone, oh, this isn't anything to worry about. We're going to take this out. This isn't going to... You call every single day. And you, did you do anything yet? Is this going to be done yet? I'm calling you to make sure you understand that this is a line in the sand. If you fail on this, I will fail you come next election. That needs to be what you say every single day. Again, this is a lie in the stand. And I don't get worked up about stuff like this usually. Usually things I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, the sausage factory did it again. But this, 
puts me as a homeschool dad and a gun owner and someone who does not adhere to federal guidelines when it comes to the Department of Education, a felon. So yeah, I'm a little concerned. And you should be too. This is something that you do not let, let you do not pass go, you do not collect $200. <laughs> you need to act on this every single day. Be like, hey, is this dead yet? And here's what this is gonna do. Again, these people don't know their butts from their elbows. And so just by them getting all of these calls and all of these emails, they're like, whoa, what's going on here? What did we step on? There's a whole bunch of goo on my shoe. Well, yeah, you stepped in it, pal. And so what this is gonna do, it's gonna let other people, these people know, oh, we mess up, we gotta fix this because we, what's the number one job of the politician? Get reelected, right? So they gotta make sure they keep that one number one job. That number one job description is get reelected. So you've just put them on notice that that's in danger now. Number two, you've also put them on notice that there's a whole ton of homeschoolers in your state. And you just, they just, the, the hornet's nest has been kicked over. And that, that, see, that's, that makes them understand for future dates that you are a voting block and you are a very, you can be a very angry voting block. That's going to secure your interest for the future. So do not let this moment pass you by if you're a homeschooler, even if you're a gun owner. Gun owner. So contact your, your state reps. Contact your state senators. You also need to be contacting the firearms groups in your state. I think it's the Missouri Firearms uh, Coalition is there. Um, and then also uh, the Missouri Sports Shooting Association. You need to be contacting the board directors for those guys. A lot of those guys... I don't know what, the, what, what they're doing these days, but back when I was on there, there was a lot of guys who had their own little pet projects. They don't even pay attention to politics. It was guys like me who were on the board over there who were like, hey, Jeff C did something stupid. We need to pay attention because they're, all they're interested in is their sport shooting, their trap and skeet, their, uh, their uh, CMP, the civilian marksmanship program stuff. That's all they're interested in. So if something happens in Jeff City, it may or may not come on their radar and sometimes not. So you contact the Missouri Sports Shooting Association. If you're in the St. Louis area, anywhere in the St. Louis metropolitan area, you need to be contacting the GCLA, the Gateway Civil Liberties Alliance. Those guys are on par with politics, but again, you're a homeschooler, so you may not, may or may not, and some of these guys are you know, up there in age. They're not like me. They're not young with young, young with young kids. So the GCLA, the Gateway Civil Liberties Alliance inside of St. Louis, they love getting involved in politics. They will fight for you. They are a great organization. Contact the GCLA in mass and let them know this is happening and that they, you need their help. They love to help. They're a very helpful group of guys, at least as far as I can remember. Gene Dalt's over there. He's always on top of stuff like this, and all those guys are on top of things. Contact the GCLA. It's gcla.org. gcla.org. Contact them and, and put them to work. They will work for you. They love, they love getting messy for gun rights, and they need to understand that they have, they have uh, allies in the homeschool community. All right, there's your marching orders. Get busy. See you next time on the homestead. Bye.